Hello, this is a video tutorial for our cat mount, piano auditions, and ensemble, vocal ensemble auditions. And it's for our evaluators. This will show you how you need to use your documents in order to evaluate the students. So first of all, if you have been given this video, thank you so much for being an evaluator for our event. Um, our events. It's been very popular, not only in the past, it's one of our most popular events for Catmount, and especially being a non-competitive -com event, um, it has also been a, an incredibly popular event during COVID because everything has been done online. So since it's a new process, we wanted to take you through the steps. So you'll receive an email, something like this, uh, with two things in it. It should have a, um, a PDF or a, it's either going to be a Word document or, to, or a PDF. Um, it's going to say uh, either piano auditions or ensemble auditions, uh, comment sheets. And then the second thing you're going to get is a link. And that link is going to be a link to our evaluator um, forms, which is going to be done by Google Forms this year. So when you get this, the first thing you need to do is just to open that um, that document. If it's a Word document and not a PDF, um, I suggest you probably save it as a PDF. It's a little bit uh, easier to handle that way. So you can just open that and put it to the side. And then the second link will be the form. Now the forms are different for, um, let me just highlight it because I haven't actually sent out this email. So, um, if you hover over it and you use two fingers on a Mac, you can uh, come up with this open link this way. I believe you can also right click on a non Mac. So that opened up this Google form and it's again, specific for piano auditions. It's a different one for piano auditions and for ensemble auditions. And then it's separate also by chapter. So please double check evaluators, make sure that your, you are using the correct evaluator form. Please double check that the chapter is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and just put these side by side and, um, just to make sure, let's see if I can make that a little smaller. If you do command, um, minus, you can make your document a little smaller if you want to access that. If you just want to see a little bit more of your page. All right. So I have now confirmed that it says here, it's the correct matching chapter and the correct form. Your, your auditions chair name should already be put in there. So anything with a star, you're going to need to put in there. So the signed student number is right here. So I'm going to put in the student number here. You're going to put your first name and last name. That is going to be, that's required. Um, oops, I got a little duplicate, but we'll correct that. And then the comments here, um, evaluators, please note that although it looks like it's one line, it is not, it is an entire paragraph and it's as long as you need it to be. So please, our students love getting feedback. They would like lots of feedback, positive feedback, constructive criticism, more positive feedback. Um, the more you can write, the better, especially during these, uh, these times. Um, we'd love to have lots of feedback. Also, we are asking that you please add in either the piece title or the composer somewhere in your comments. So you can either just simply cut and paste it here or in your comments, if you're talking about, say you're talking about a French suite, you can say, you know, um, for your Bach French suite number and put in the BWV or something just to make sure that things are not getting mixed up. All right. If in your comments, you want to just take this whole thing and if you want to, you know, uh, cut and paste, you know, this, you can actually, you can do so cut and paste the French suite and you know, that will, I didn't get the whole thing, but it'll cut and paste in there. All right. So please do that for all of your, of uh, your comments here. We want to make sure that, you know, with all of these documents, we just want to cross check and make sure everything's correct. So again, the easiest way, you know, you can just, um, cut and paste the title if you like, or in your comments, you know, you can just, you can talk about the piece here. So whatever's easier for you, uh, command C will, will copy it. 
Command V will paste it. Um, if there's, if you'd prefer just to type it in, that's fine. And then you can type in your comments again, plenty of room. Don't worry about the space, um, for all three. Okay. After that, you go to the next page. Um, I have to put in, everything must be filled in or it won't let you go to the next page. And then here we have, please take time and read this section. This year, we've, we have an updated revision of specific rating guidelines. And please remember that um, this is an audition and it is not a competition. So we don't evaluate this in exactly the same, um, with the same, I would say, rigor as we would a competitive event. This event is meant to encourage and um, it is an event for all students. So uh, we'd like you to please read carefully our guidelines uh, for each five plus, five or five minus. Notice that um, the rating of a five plus, five or five minus um, allows the student to qualify for the so Southern Festival or the Northern Festival, depending on uh, which area the chapter is in. And that's going to be done virtually, but the students do earn a medal for that. And, uh, and, you know, will be featured in some type of a virtual event. So we want to make sure that if you are intending to put a student in that category, we have been very specific about what the student needs to score for that. Okay. And again, we just tried to really spell out, um, the ratings here for you. And then please check um, if this, check this off right here, if the overall score is a five plus, five or five minus, you will need to choose um, which piece should be included for the Southern or Northern Festival. So it's up to you. If you felt like all the pieces were of equal quality, then you can just put teacher's choice and that will be the teacher, you know, will work with the student and, and figure that out. If the score was not a five plus five or a five minus, please just go ahead and check evaluator score does not qualify um, for Northern or Southern Festival. Then you're just going to type in your full name, first name and last name, please. And that will count as evaluator signature. And then um, you're going to put in the date that you are submitting it. And that's it. You're going to just click uh, submit in here. I'm not going to do that because um, <laughs> I always have to go back and delete it. So, and then your submission will be done. So we will need a, a new form for each of the students. Notice that you can see in this group, there are 47 students. So each one is done separately. It doesn't take much time just to cut and paste, you know, a couple things as needed. Um, and uh, we hope that uh, that we've made it as easy as possible for you and um, and also for our chairs having everything online. If you have any questions, please contact your specific chair that has hired you for this event. I hope that this video has helped you and um, please also check with your chair. We do have um, strict deadlines for when we need all the evaluation forms backed so that we can prepare all the all of the um, the videos for our next event. Thanks again for being an evaluator for Cap Mount Auditions, and best wishes on your event. And we appreciate your time and expertise.